All right, today I want to just do a really quick demo on selenide. So selenide is a layer on top of selenium for getting stuff done. So selenium is full of awesome, but that selenium test will be ready in five minutes. It's about this skeleton picture because there's endless amounts of stuffing around, uh, putting in callbacks for waiting on things, all sorts of heavy duty boilerplate code being written. Well, selenide is all that awesomeness plus rock star and minus the an awesome amount of time. So it's basically writing web tests like a boss and everyone wants to write web tests like a boss. But of course, to write tests like a boss, you've got to make some compromises. So basically it says it takes all the common conventions of web testing and makes some very opinionated Sparta-like kind of decisions about that and then lets you write tests. So let's just take something uh, and give it a test. So I'm going to take Google Images today and give that a bit of a test because that's a nice little Ajaxy kind of non-trivial demo. You can't see that. That's really disappointing, but uh, I'll make it so that you can see it surely. Okay, so let's just take Google Images like this and say I'm going to uh, do a Glenn Smith Java. So I'm going to fill in some kind of input box and then I'll click some sort of styled kind of button here. And then it's going to give me back a list of divs and then I want to click on one of those divs and then I want to get this Ajax window back and click on view image. So that sounds like a non-trivial little undertaking in 3 minutes 40. So let's just see how we want, might test that. So here's a little basic uh, standard JUnit test. Um, I'm going to just start by doing open. I'm not going to configure anything because all the basics are there for me. Images.google.com.au so I'm going to open it, that'll open up the browser, get it ready to roll. Now as far as populating elements, all of that's done by CSS3 selectors. Well that's one of the mechanisms that I like, it's super cool, uh, super short to do. So I know for instance that list box is called uh, list IB input box and then there's all sorts of common uh, ex expansions that you can do for these like set options or radios or whatever. In this case I'm just going to set the value Glenn Smith Java. So that's going to populate that. Then I've got a button that I've got to click which has got a name so why don't I just style it like a boss and call it input name equals button G because there's no other identifiers and then I'm going to click that button. Okay, pretty pretty short so far. Now I know I'm going to get back a list of divs, so I can use the dollar dollar operator, which says I'm expecting a list back. And these are all styled RGL. So there's my big list of images that come back. How's it going to know? Shouldn't I do a wait? Shouldn't I do no, no? It's Ajax aware. It knows that stuff. Modern web apps take a while to do it, so it'll hang around till that div appears because I've said it's probably going to appear. Otherwise, it'll fail and write a screenshot. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to get the maybe the first image, because that's a nice picture of me, and then I'm going to click on that. Oh, actually I should do some asserts, shouldn't I? So I can say should be present uh, and should be visible by this stage. So that'll do some asserts. Again, keeps like a flow style bizzo happening, so I can just keep chaining. Uh, and then I'm going to click on it. So I've done the asserts, I've done the click. That brings me up a nice little uh, div that's populated with my picture, right, and the two buttons. Now they've got nothing identifying about them at all, which is really handy when you're trying to match them. But that's okay because there's also some convenience ones that's, that Selenide gives you, like by, for instance, partial link text. So I know it's something like, is it view image? View image, I think it is. And then I'm going to click on that. And by that time, we should be good to go. It should bring up that image in its own window. That'll be pretty awesome, but that'll disappear quickly, so I'm just going to put in a sleep there so we have time to celebrate the awesomeness should I actually get this far. Okay, save that and run that. Okay, so it's stock standard, good to go. We've just done a full-on Ajax test of this guy. We should be able to spark up a browser. This should run through the test seamlessly. If anything fails on the way, it'll take a screenshot and dump out the HTML of the fail, just like uh, you would in a hardcore Selenide config. So. That's good to go. Now we just got to make sure this browser appears and that something good happens in the next minute and five. Till that happens I'll keep talking because I've noticed if you keep talking people get a bit distracted. They don't feel like it's taking as long as it actually is. Okay cool, so I'm clicking, I'm populating my input box hopefully next. And then I'll click the button, that'll bring back my series of divs. So I was going to select the first one I think, it'll wait for an Ajax to appear. Then I was going to click my view image button, ooh did I capitalize it right? Yes I did. Wow, so there's a whole test uh, soup to nuts. Um, in you know three and a half minutes. Uh, I've been using this a fair bit at work on a couple of large Ajax sort of sites and I can get testing done super fast with less stuffing around. Works great in IE, unbelievably, and um, <laughs> totally, worth, totally worth looking at if you want to get rid of the boilerplate and just write some really concise tests. So that's about the three minute version of that. Um, there's my details. You should sign up for my free newsletter, just as a free plug there, and then we, every now and again I send one, so you, know, you, should, you should get to that. Thanks for your time today. Enjoy selenide.